The youth-led hashtag shut it all down protest gained international attention as videos and pictures surfaced on social media depicting riot police allegedly committing human rights abuses mostly against young women who were protesting against gender-based violence and anti-femicide. The riot police responded by throwing tear gas canisters and smoke grenades and in some instances used brutal force against the youthful protesters. Today on One spoke to the children's advocate at the office of the ombudsman which holds the mandate to promote and protect human rights to hear what they have to say about the recent demonstrations. When, when people make allegations regarding violations or threats of violations of human rights, they can certainly come and complain to the Ombudsman's office because th this is what the Ombudsman is. It's an in individual complaint receiving body. But when, when people's rights are violated, as, in, as in, in the case of the protesters, for instance, People must remember that there are remedies for these types of things. So your, your first avenue would be to lay a criminal complaint because this is assault and it must be dealt with in terms of criminal law. You can also institute civil proceedings to claim damages for, for the physical harm or otherwise that was caused by you. And then the police also have uh, measures in place to discipline these staff members. So if a certain complaint is made with the police, they will investigate the, ma the, the matter and which may result in the dismissal from the force of a particular member. So first these, these avenues must be explored and in, if then members of the public don't get the required um, assistance, then they are more than welcome to approach the Ombudsman's office and we will give them assistance in order to get services from where they need to get services. According to Hesselman, Namibia's criminal justice system is under a serious burden, especially due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which saw some offenders of SGBV being released as the courts were closed. Hesselman also added that other avenues must be explored to address GBV, such as education, which can be a tool to combat harmful cultural gender-based stereotypes. Our criminal justice system in Namibia is definitely under a very serious burden. And so I know that Fighting gender-based violence is, is, has been a problem in Namibia for a long time and doing so under the auspices of a pandemic is, is even worse because um, the, the, the courts were closed and um, so the, the backlog in the criminal cases is already um, made worse and then certain offenders were released from jail just to, to try and curb the, the pandemic also under these circumstances. But, um, at the Ombudsman, we believe that perhaps the criminal justice system is not the only um, avenue in, in, in which to fight this uh, problem of gender-based violence. Perhaps a bit more focus on education um, and trying to fight the gender stereotypes that exist culturally in Namibia is probably also another avenue to try and um, address this issue. The Action Coalition and Editors Forum of Namibia have also condemned the actions by the police, saying that they committed human rights abuses on the youthful protesters who were mostly women. They also called on the Minister of Safety and Security and the Police Inspector General to jointly institute a public inquiry into the police response to the protests and to develop gender sensitivity training for all police officers. Yeah! 